Hello, this is Thomas from Polyphoria. Today I'd like to give you a brief overview of the medieval armor pack and how to integrate these characters into the character editor. So let's go first with the overview of the pack itself. We have a full customizable character with five different item slots. We have chests of different types, we have knights, militias, mercenaries and some vikings. Here you can see some of these variations. We have separated these helmets to fit different factions as well. Swords and shields. Gloves and bracers go into one slot. And legs combined with shoes and feet separated as well if you want to mix these together. Here are a few examples of the characters. Let's go a little bit closer. Let's use this guy. We can change this material. I simply select the chest slot itself. I opened the MI chest sol soldier material. Here's the material. As you can see, we work here with a different tint mask to tint these together. I can also go here with the same red tone. Or I can also make it dark. This depends all on your side, what you want to do with these guys. And same applies also for all other types, for the helmets, for the pants, for the chests. It's general Unreal tinting materials. All right, the main purpose of this video is how to integrate these characters in the character editor, because I believe you have seen also the quality of these guys and everything is fine. First, when you want to integrate these, you need to migrate your medieval armor folder. Do right click, go to migrate, then he wants to save all that stuff and you need to migrate this to the character editor. I have it open here and I have integrated here a version of the medieval armor already to show you some final results. change here the skin of this guy and I have made some customization profiles here for the Vikings that you can see that it works or a knight mercenaries and here's a Viking let's go full screen in the character editor you have also different uh, light scenarios to see that these work also with different lights. These characters are stored in collections. With the character ed editor initial release we um, released some citizens as a um, normal base collection and I created here also this med medieval armor collection where I start to randomize the apparels around. All items are compatible with each other and they work together. Okay, how to integrate the data now? Let's close this for now. The data structure is pretty simple. In the base folder, you have a data table, the anatomy profiles. The anatomy profiles are st stored for all the skeletons and the base bodies and which anim blueprint is used here. This is the data which is derived by the UI when you click on the icon male, female or child for example. You can also integrate here different races like elves and orcs. <coughs> the CDA collection you can find in enums. Here I have different type of collections stored for different projects and here I'm going to add a new one. I'm going to add a new. Let's call it Medieval Armor Presentation. I'm going to save this. Okay. If 
I start the editor now, move this besides, edit collection. And he doesn't show it up because no data asset is using this right now. So let's create a data asset for these kind of things. Here I have already my integrated folder and you have in the character parts folder, you have here the general structure, how these things work. You have here lower bodies, upper bodies, heads, and all the data from the medieval armor pick needs to be feed in these containers. So I'm gonna use here now uh, upper body and I'm gonna copy one of these. You can also either create a new one with right click Michelangelo's and data assets. When you select the data asset class, Unreal gives you a simple menu to pick one of the desired classes. And for our character editor, please use the BP CDA apparels. But this is all written in the documentation as well. So you can have there a deeper look later. Okay, but for right now, I'm just gonna copy one of these to show you the whole structure. So I'm gonna use the MHS hoodie. Let's call it MA Medieval Armor Chest Zero One. Okay, I'm gonna open this one, pull it here over, and here you can see what is stored in this container. There's the mesh, there are the material variations, there's a body mask to hide some skin parts of the character. There are the morph targets, which are controlled to drive the morphs of the other um, apparel types as well. And you have here a thumbnail. You don't have to use our um, UI. It's, you can integrate it into your system and change it however you want, but you have here the whole data-driven workflow with it working. Um, here is the anatomy type. You have to choose um, one of these anatomies. Um, I created also here some elf, orcs, but for you is right now human male adult for the presentation as well, is enough. Okay, so the male is selected and here is the collection. And I use now here our created collections, medieval armor presentation. I'm gonna save this for now without changing anything. I just leave it like it is and I just change it to the collection type medieval armor presentation. Okay, let's restart it. And because we have said human male adult, nothing shows up because we have the female default gender selected. If you switch it to male, and now it's here medieval armor presentation. As you can see, all these slots are empty. Only one data asset is right now in this collection. And this is the one with a hoodie, which we copied over. Okay, so let's go back into our data asset. <coughs> I'm gonna now use one of the medieval armor meshes. And I'm gonna plug in, I'm just here my second monitor on the side. I'm gonna plug in a chest knight. Now the chest of the knight is stored in the data asset. And if you reload it, it's working. It's, a, it's the same character, it's the same proportions. You have it in the editor and real time possibilities. <clears throat> so if you want to integrate right now all these items, I would suggest to copy um, classes of each apparel type and change the properties of these as well. You also need to change now here the um, item for gloves equipped, for example. So I'm gonna copy one of my uh, gloves over, medieval armor. Let's first copy, let's make a new folder for presentation right now. New folder, meet evil present. 
Plantation. I'm going to stop the editor for right now. And I'm going to throw it in here. We need a presentation. Okay. <clears throat> so as you can see here also in the highlight, it shows you that this is a primary asset type of the apparel upper body. So you can't use this data asset to simply put gloves in or legs or shoes. These are all stored in different classes. So you have to create now a new one, for example, Michel Angelis data assets. And let's go to lower body. Okay. And this is CDA, male, medieval, armor, flex, evil one. You, you can use your names here. We just use it as a gen generic identifier. Okay, so we need now the medieval armor, meshes, And I'm going to use the night pants. I'm going to plug it in here. I'm going to change the anatomy type, human, male, adult. I'm going to add a collection, medieval armor presentation. And this is the basic setup. So let's check if, it, if this works now. I'm going to restart, change it to male. Medieval armor presentation, and we go to lower body, and here are our medieval legs. Oh, shoes are missing. Okay, all right. Let's straight create some new shoes for us. Data asset, and we use feet. Emma, I just call it feet for the sake of time now. Um, Let's jump in here and this would be a normal medieval night boot. And I'm gonna duplicate this right now that we have two different types of feet. And let's go also with these ones. I'm gonna save this one and let's create a helm. Hat, medieval hat. After you created all the necessary slots or one item per slot, you can easily just duplicate these and swap the meshes around. It's very important that you copy a little bit of the uh, base logic structure from our medieval armor pack to copy it over. So to say, for example, the morph targets with gloves equipped, this is very important that you copy these over to um, avoid some intersection between these parts here. So you would therefore then create the morph target, gloves equipped. Let's do it here. I create Michel Angelus. Data is it, and we use some hands. Medieval glove. Go in here. We have here some gloves. Let's put these guys in. This one goes here. Whoops. You can create the thumbnails with our <coughs> thumbnail capture studio, which is also documented. So you can take a closer look there. This is the gloves here. And I have here my um, medieval chests, which we copied over. This is why data is in here. So we're gonna delete this one. And let's call it gloves equipped with a value of one. So Every time a data asset with a stored morph target with gloves equipped is then driven. 
so to say. These gloves are equipped and they control this morph target of the chest with gloves equipped. This is all working together. It's also working with different morph targets with skirts and helmets. So you have to take a really closer look at these ones. Okay, let's go back to the glove. We put the glove in and I think the only thing what was missing was, I think we made a hat and didn't put a really proper night hat in. Let's use this crusader. Here we go and save it. All right. And ignore the skin variation for now. This is just um, from an another upcoming product. <coughs> okay. Um, when you created these data assets now uh, during runtime, uh, he doesn't update these. So you need to stop it, you need to start it. Let's switch the gender. Medieval armor presentation. And here's a randomize button over the apparel slot. Oh, it's good that we see this right now. So what is going on here? That from the copied um, hoodie, which we in initially copied, they are um, material variations in. So if you go to material variants, you get here all these variations. Let's plug in some variations from the original chest. I'm gonna use this here and we're gonna put this one in here. And one is I think enough. Okay, let's clear this, this one and we can go back. And here's now our chest, upper body. And here you can see we can swap the material variations pretty easily between these. Um, some of our assets are still missing. This comes because we haven't set the collection type. <coughs> human male adult collection and medieval armor presentation human male adult collections medieval armor presentation here we do the same human male adult medieval armor presentation save these collections can be used for totally different things this depends up to you how you, you want to integrate these into your project we use it right now just to separate the products between each other, but you can also make like a dragon collection or a knight collection, and then the player unlocks these. But this is all uh, up to customer integration, I believe. Okay, we changed the collection types. Uh, I just hit fast pause, play again, and let's switch the gender to collection, medieval armor presentation, and here we go, now we have it. There's the upper body, there's our lower body, and our leg is still missing. But I think you get the general idea how it works. And as you can see, it's pretty fast. I think to integrate a whole product or pack is just about one hour maximum, I would say. <coughs> This depends all on how much you want to integrate, how you want to use this. So I definitely also like to say, um, please keep in mind that the character editor is mainly made for an avatar or player character, not necessarily for NPC. I would suggest a more simplistic approach um, for these NPCs without the complete logic of a whole character editor behind to avoid some performance leaks. Yeah, and this was it from my side. So I hope you get a basic idea of the integration, how it works. Um, there's also, we have a big documentation of the character editor because I, I know it's a pretty complex system. 
and we have here written really uh, around about 50 pages where you can using the character how to customize things how to um, do the profile manager some color pickers for the ui and some basic tutorials and also for as you have seen for our latest feature the light studio where you can change things but this is all again on on customer size how you want to um, deal with these if you want to um, if you want to drive the light data from your environment or if you want to have like a separate light rig for um, your presentation of the avatar itself this um, depends all and if i switch back to medieval armor let's change the skin type to the default one and as you can see everything is working pretty much together it's all fine every item is working correctly okay that's it from my side i hope you enjoyed this little introduction and i wish you a great day adios ciao